Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm going to speak about the Killian's dehiscence. The Killian's dehiscence is present in the inferior constrictor muscle. So this is a posterior view of the pharynx and the inferior constrictor muscle is made up of two parts. The oblique fibers called as the upper thyropharyngeus upper thyropharyngeus and then you have the transverse fibers the transverse fibers are called as the lower cricopharyngeus okay so upper thyropharyngeus is the oblique whereas the transverse is the lower cricopharyngeus so above you have the thyroid and down you have the cricoid so you see these two muscles are the part of inferior constrictor muscles and between these two muscles is there's a potential gap and that gap is called as the Killian's dehiscence okay um, so the, this is a site of weakness and this is a potential site for the development of diverticulum as you all know which diverticulum develops through this defect it is the Zenker's diverticulum this is another site of weakness in the pharyngeal wall which is called as a lamial triangle that is present between the lower cricopharynges and the circular muscle of the esophagus okay this is a circular muscle of the esophagus and between these two muscles the this defect is called as the la lamus triangle so to review first we have the oblique fibers which is called as upper thyropharynges transverse fibers lower cricopharynges that space between them Killian's dehiscence 